Oh, that is so freaking cool. Wait, 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 wait. I go, I go, okay. I don't like how it kind of, you press back and it kind of hip thrusts forward a little bit. It's Greetings and salutations, my name is Eric and welcome back to Ark. In the last episode we tamed up some gigantoraptors and we got the sand dragons, I think that was the last episode, and I'm just reading, up, reading them up to get the best levels. Uh, so the one female has the best oxygen and melee and these ones have all the other stats so I gotta just do one more round basically and we have them all set. Uh, in this episode we reached level uh, 72 I believe it was. Uh, so that means we unlocked the motor fairy that I think that's what our plan for today's episode is going to be. And they are, in fact, expensive. Oh, yeah, I have a clip that I want to show you guys. Right, right here, right here, look. Flashback. Oh, I just killed a parasaur and I dropped one of these. Journeyman Shiva's ice pick. Okay, one sec, one second, one second, one second. Uh, a spear that chills your enemies to the bone, freezing them after multiple successful melee attacks. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. End of flashback. Yeah. So Shiva's ice pick. Let's put that on. And I believe it gives us an ascendant Shiva's ice pick. Oh, basically, you yeah, have to use it in your inventory like I do with the uh, backpacks. Oh, we also can... Uh, Oh yeah, I don't have my jump boost on anymore. Womp womp, I gotta go the long way around. Oh yeah, we hit level 70 so we can get the tier 3 backpacks. And I think we're gonna do this ep do that this episode. But I just wanna see how good this is. 67. Okay, that's... Seems like the damage of a regular pike, if I'm not mistaken. I must be missing something. You're awfully weak for being a... Le legendary stuff and things hmm so if we take the yeah this is why we got to build the bigger ship it's uh getting a little crowded in here so we take you and we put the apprentice inferno ward talisman which resists fire which I, I i don't mind getting rid of it so we click on it scrap accessory we get nine essence so we'll put you in oh yeah i gotta probably take it off first eh take you off put you in there and you need 32 to upgrade. Okay. What about the bog walker one? Because I've been loving that. Cost upgrade two. Yeah. And then we need eight more. So it. I wonder if the jump is now higher. And then we can just pick this back up. Uh, pick you up. So can we. Okay. Before I could jump over this wall. But not this one. So please be higher. Please be higher. Please be higher. Same height. Dang nabbit, same height. Uh, but maybe we get more um, cementing paste from stuff and things. Who knows? Wait, me. I'll have to find out. While we're over here, let's craft the tier 3 backpack. I'm, I'm a fan of the mountain backpack. Uh, what, 250 fiber, 120 hide, and 10 metal ingots. Alrighty. Uh, let's take off the one we already have because it's a 5 second cooldown. Alright, so here's the tier 3. And then equip, and then 35% item weight. That is, uh, that's pretty strong. I dig it. Now we can go on better metal runs. Change of plans. So, in here, to make the boat stuff and things, we need the honing machine. And that requires electronics, which require silica pearls. I do not have silica pearls, so to get silica pearls, we need to go under the water. I made a shiny, is it in here? No. Is it in here? Right here, the shiny dino tracker, because I had to do some admin stuff and things. So seven, left click. Uh, there's an albino beelzo bufo. Oh, that'd be cool. But an albino beelzo bufo right about there in the swamp. Can we just track it? Shiny. Okay. So let's take out somebody, like uh, one of the uh, sand dragons. I have a crossbow. I have, ooh, I should probably get better armor eventually. But we can just... Get some prime, knock out the uh, Beals of Bufo, and use that to go under the water to get silica pearls, to get electronics, to make the honing machine to build the raft. See, we're going places. Can you find the albino Beals of Bufo? Hmm, which one is it? <laughs> Alright, I see you coming this way, chum. But doink. Uh, Bola, please. Flippery.
I've missed through all my shots so far. Why am I skill issuing so bad? Oh, there we go. Alright, now let's do the thing. I don't know why I skill issued so hard there. There's a Baryonyx. Dude, dude, I'm trying to... Dude, really? I don't know how much I'm going to leave into that. Oh, that was painful. Hey, Baryonyx, more like Bionyx. That wasn't that bad at all. So the thing that makes this special, if you couldn't already tell, is it the color scheme. If you notice, they're all white. So like, oh my goodness, it's albino. Who would have guessed? Uh, plus, they come at a little higher level than max level, which is always a nice change of pace. Uh, 60 points in a weight. Oh my goodness, you are a monster. Oh yeah, and I gave you all my prime meat. Okay, so let's take this little fella back home. Oh, little lady back home. So 51, 60... 52, 48, 42. Wow, that's really good. Do we want to get a male? Here, let me put all you back in there. So, uh, since it is not, doesn't have any special traits, like it's not frozen or dazzling or anything, that's basically just a higher level, cool colored dino, which it, I love this mod for. But if we get a male one, we can combine the stats and we can probably even pass over the colors if we wanted. Plus, we could have the imprinting bonus. So I think I'm going to look around a bit, see if we can find a high-level male nearby. That, honestly, it doesn't even have to be a high-level male. What in the world are you? Flameforge dragon. Oh, those are the ones that can harvest metal stuff and things. Oh, oh, uh, I forget what your stuff and things. We'll have to go check that out Um, once we get back. So, there's a 145 Flame Forge Dragon on the map, and it requires 2,500 metal and gets 1,500 obsidian, an egg, and some water. I wonder how much topor they have, because maybe we could tame that. So, there's the Flame Forge Dragon I was talking about. Uh, let's see. Only 23 points into weight, but 30 into health. The, the question is, oh, actually, how much topor do you have? 7,000? So, about half that of a Rex. Hmm. Oh, and I just took out that Pronto. Jeez Louise. Ah, we'll see. Should we tame out an Anki first? I don't know, but I'm going to go get a uh, Bilzebufo right now. That's the game plan. Well, well, well. What did you just draw? Veil of the Unseen? What in the world do you do? A mystery? I was to wear to be invisible for a short time. Crouch and punch will unarmed to activate. Oh, that's neat. But there's a 150 male Bills Bufo right there. I don't know why we're going for a 150, but hey, might as well. Wish me luck. Alrighty. So, you come out here. And then you, shiny one. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. And put you similar spot since they don't have the saddle made quite yet. Uh, behavior enable mating behavior enable mating and please produce me a strong child I just realized with the awesome spyglass we can look at the egg before it hatches this will come up with a female level 229 okay uh so that means why bother hatching this one we can use it for uh other things uh, shiny ruby parasaur too bad parasaurs are practically useless okay you did you get picked up? Oh, there you are. A male level 241. Okay. So you have... Okay, okay, so let's hatch up this one and then breed it back with the mother to get all the all the good stats. Because we're only... We're a couple off. Actually, over by Skull Island, there's a water bubble that I showed off in the center showcase. So how about let's go down there and see if there's a bunch of silica pearls. Because the frog would have a good time going in there. Oh yeah, 145 theory that we got attacked by yesterday. Whoops. Alright, I'll, I'll see you when we get there. I was just yapping this whole time. Coming to this the bubble to get, um... Crap, silica pearls. And I wasn't recording the whole time because I'm a freaking fracking dilly smacking idiot. However, yada yada yada, this place looks nice. I can't find the pearls though, but that might just be a skill issue on my part. Alrighty, let's whip up the honing machine. Uh, that won't take too too long, and then we're gonna flop it down wherever it fits. I wonder. Oh, we level up from that. Nice. Please don't be big. Please don't be big. Uh, ba ba ba. 
Do it right there. Fine. Oh, you look nice. Nice texture. All right. Up in here, up in here. Oh, goodness, essay. So basically, this is used to build stuff in things faster than a normal fabricator. And it also uh, makes stuff for other Klinger mods. So, well, for the motor ferry, I pinned everything we need. Four big fuel tanks. So that's 20 iron plank. Or, yeah, 20 iron planks. And that is... Oh, wow, I think we've bit off more than we can chew. That's going to be a lot. Like, even 100 black pearls is a little much for right now. And then 30 more iron planks. Two large axles. Uh, those aren't that bad. Um, and two big heavy engines, which are pieces of everything else. Like a large crankcase. Okay. Oh, engine block. Jeez Louise. Large engine block. And he's one. You need two. So you're 500. So that's a thousand metal on top of a thousand. So it's basically, do we want a fairy or do we want the uh, dragon? I kind of want to get the dragon. Yeah, let's... So Ember Vein Essence is 2,500 metal ingots, 1,500 obsidian, an egg, and a water. That obsidian isn't that bad because of Skull Island. It has a lot of obsidian nowadays. So I think we're going to use the multi-tool and one of the sand dragons. And I'm going to grind out 5,000 raw metal. Oof, let's do this. This is far more obsidian than anybody should be taking in one trip, but we're gonna do it anyways. All right, I just wanted to pause it because a shiny enraged fairy has emerged at 5448. Enraged dinos can't be, uh, what's the word? Tamed, but they're kind of like alphas, but they give a crap ton of uh, loot. So, uh, enraged fairy, danger, track dino. So it is over there. Uh, maybe we'll take out this sand dragon. Oh crap, so so you know how the shiny marker isn't very accurate to where the shiny is? I was just coming over here to check. Oh crap, now our stamina is going to drain and we won't be able to do stuff and things. So the Flameforge dragon is right there. And I'm, I'm really wanting to tame it now. But if right there, Enraged Theory, level 150, it's mate boosted. Uh, 62,000 health. Uh, how about, what if we get rid of this fairy? So it's not mate boosted anymore. And then, uh, we see what loot we get, eh? Wish me luck. Oh, oh, you hit. Jeez Louise, you hit hard. Can I out I can outrange it. So, uh, this will just uh, take a couple minutes. What if we... Yes! Oh my goodness! That took absolutely forever. What did we... Okay, first of all, how many levels did we get from... I'm gonna... What? So, gas mask, lesser antidote, sh shiny essence, can be used to harvest the essence of lesser shiny diet. Okay. Bug repellent, pearls, blood pack, narcotic, black pearl. Okay. Uh, you, this is my melee one, so we're just gonna pump all the levels in a melee. That is absolutely nuts. How many levels did I get? I'm gonna guess three. Twelve! There we go, the perfect amount. We just need some dino eggs, but I'm not gonna make it quite yet, because I still want to upgrade the, um, crossbow. And I think we're, we're gonna make some dino gates to trap it, because I am not confident in my abilities whatsoever. Alrighty, finally, let's upgrade this to 400. Man, that's absolutely nuts. The upgrade to Mastercraft isn't that expensive. I wonder why the to the next tier isn't expensive, but the damage up it well kind of makes sense because that's freaking busted. But you know, same diff. I want to make some uh, flak armor before we go. I made up uh, some stone gateways just for a trap. So, oh, you need fiber. I put I was out farming with a fairy fiber. Oh, that's not a lot. I wonder how much it costs to upgrade flax stuff and things one of you one of you you don't have a lot of metal so hopefully this flame forge dragon will help us flak now let's just take the chest piece for chest piece for now because that'll be the most expensive bit put you in there you take to ramshack oh imbue is 260 metal ingots oh yeah that's uh well we're just we're just going primitive for now <laughs>
Alrighty, Dodo Egg goes in here. We make the Ember Vein Draconic Essence. Pretty expensive. We better not screw this up, eh? So that'll take a hot second to craft. Uh, we got our crossbow. We bola, but I don't think it can be bola. I'm going to put away the shiny Dino Tracker. There is a shiny Dunk... Uh, dunk Leosteus on the map, but I don't think we're re well, maybe with our really strong freaking crossbow now. Uh, flak armor. I, I should have. Wow, that is a belly. Jeez Louise. But I think we got food, water. I think we're good to go. Once this crafts up, we're gonna. Oh, there we go. Hop on probably the fighting dragon. Uh, and then I'll meet you guys over there. Problem. There's two of them now. That, uh,. That, that makes things a lot more difficult, especially judging by the fact that they're mate boosted. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Do I attack one and bait it away? I'm going to try that, but it might be faster than me. Oh my god, they're so chunky. I haven't seen one up close. That's adorable. Come on. Come on. Please follow me, but not too much. Come on. Oh, they're so chunky. Look at that breath attack. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. We want the brown one dead. They just don't care, do they? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now we're running. Now we're running. Okay, I have an idea. There's a little ruins right up here. Can I snipe it from here? Probably not. I'm not that skilled. But we have a lot of arrow. Oh my god, I can't believe I hit it. You take so little damage, dude. Am I doing it right? Like did like Oh, did I miss? Okay. Why is a topar going down so fast? Am I doing something wrong? Okay, clearly wants nothing to do with me. So let's just take the sand dragon over there and maybe he can tank a few hits. This is uh, kind of nuts. You, you're just going to ignore me. Just going to ignore me, eh? I oh, better get off you. The swing's going to make me dizzy. What is your problem, buddy? Dude. Pal. Amigo. Ombre. Tomodachi. Wait, that's not, that's not friend. I have no idea why you hate me so much. Really? Probably lost a bunch of taming effectiveness. Two, oh, 217. I guess not. Um, that was interesting to say the least, but let's get back on the sand dragon. Oh, I, we gotta check you out, but I have no idea what your deal like. So two, two, 145 came out at 217. Yeah, that, that's, that's, how did you not lose taming effectiveness? I have no idea, but dude, that, that's a lot of icons going on in you right now. Let's, uh, let's just take you home. So the Flameforge Dragon Saddle is made at level, is at level 60, and it's the same cost as the uh, other one. Uh, crap, do I have my resources anywhere? Flame. Forge, you still need 50 stone. That's not bad at all. Here, put you in there. Uh, you're just hovering up there for now. Oh, I'm, I think I, I have a feeling I might have a new favorite creature. Uh, what did I need? Was it stone? Let's just take a couple. Come, let me out, please. I am trying to make a video here. All right, up in here, up in here. Put you back in there. Uh, flame Forge Dragon Saddle. Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's get it. Let's take a good look at this guy. You are very bright very bright but i think i'm in love so your saddle oh so it's like the rock drake saddle oh not rock a uh, magma source saddle kind of makes sense all right so uh, again a lot of health 
Uh, 900 stam. 688 weight. Please, go up a lot. That's like 30 something. Okay. Okay. So, uh, options first. I always like, so, you, uh, ride, behavior, harvest settings. Oh, wait, no, that's just normal stuff and things. One second. Okay, so, moment of truth. Damage test. Left click. Did you... So left click charges forward. Harvests the thatch wood. Does it only hit once? Uh, it hits for quite a bit of damage. Oh, you're a level 140. I don't really want to have to deal... Quick. Oh my goodness, it's so quick. Okay, so... Can you attack in the air? It... So if you stand still, it just does an attack. But if you move forward, it does a, like, lunging attack. Okay. So... In the air, on the ground, it does the lunging forward attack either way. And that attack harvests stone and trees, but not very well. So, right click should be... Let me... Let, hey, don't... don't. Well, bad turning radius, though, but that's to be expected. Wait, can you back up? Very slowly. So, let's uh, not do it on a stego. So, you... Oh, that's an alpha raptor. Right click. Is... Oh, you got to hold right click. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Wait, 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 wait. I got, I got, okay. I don't like how it kind of, you press back and it kind of hip thrusts forward a little bit. It's a, it's a, it's hard to get a hang of. So, line it up, right, hold right click, and you just harvest, it reminds you of the Strider from Genesis Part 2. Oh, wow. Oh, and I'm out of, st oh, I'm going to want to pump stam on this guy. Oh, actually, how much stam do you get? 918? Let's get you up to... Hey, no. No. How much does it do any... Alright. Just let me regain a bit of stam, please, because that's an Alpha Raptor right there. But it didn't want to attack me, which was odd. Dude, do you not regen stam at all? Like, come on. Alright, land up here. Regen stam. Alright. Let's see. Right-click attack. Do you do any damage? 53, 53... Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it for the, uh, oh, oh, 106. That changes things a little bit. Because it attacks pretty quickly in a big area, but it drains stam like a son of a gun. Interesting. Not a very long range on it. It looks like the range should be longer. Can we do it on the ground? I, I know if this is getting a little long, but I just I want to test everything because I think I might have a new favorite creature. 70... If you get up, oh, oh, talisman, talisman, or accessory. I play, I play too much high pixel skyblock. Oh, infernal ward. Okay, we can grind that one down, or maybe I want to keep that one because I got rid of the other one. So right click. You got to be. Where'd you? That is not a long range on that. One oh six, one oh six. Once it focuses, it's actually like decent damage. Does melee... Let's do one melee... Okay, that's a that's decent. So, we were doing 106. Do we do 106... 109? So, right-click affects the damage of the breath attack, but I hear tell that it doesn't affect the gathering rates of it. Oh, well, that bite, bite isn't bad at all. Uh, let's go harvest some metal, you know, the main point of it. Oh, yeah, and if you guys haven't noticed already, it cooks meat and smelts metal in its inventory the meat looks like it takes a while to cook but the metal went surprisingly quick uh can i just like right click on these rocks and just nom, 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 nom. that's pretty cool what about c c do anything x control can you Ooh, ichthyosaur saddle and a procoptodon can you dive bomb no you are one chunky son of a gun please harvest a lot of metal please harvest a lot of metal right click That is pretty quick. Oh, can you, can I catch a break, please? And it looks like it doesn't weigh a lot in my inventory, but I'll have to deal with this guy first. This, how, how fast is that metal smelting? Uh, about a little bit slower than the, oh, wow. That is going to get real old, real fast. There we go. 
Okay. I wonder if the uh, bite attack harvests more. So we were getting what? Like 140 per raw? So he's a slow walker, but quick flyer. Let's try this one, like, see if we can just hit one rock. How much metal are we going to get? So it's about, it's about the same per. Okay, does leveling melee increase it? Just to be sure with testing. So it, look, it looks to be about the same. So you just fly around and just harvest metal with the giant death beam attack and we're encumbered. Dang nabbit. So, uh, in my inventory, metal costs 105. Oh, so it costs 105, and that's with my backpack on, but in your inventory, costs four or weighs 45. That's a big difference. But it, no, I'm going to need that. Uh, I'm going to need that back, please. Where did you go? Right here. So this thing is, in fact, insane. And I'm, I'm in love. So it looks like the Flameforge Dragon smelts every one every five seconds. Well, this does one every one like two and a half, three seconds, which is interesting. I think so, it, but it doesn't require any fuel or anything. So it's good for like passively smelting some while you're on the go. But uh, I think we're going to have to get our hands on a uh, industrial forge because uh, Dragon Draconic Chronicles adds in Industrial Forge, a uh, Draconic Obsidian Industrial Forge, which looks about the same as the uh, normal one, but instead of costing 400 polymer, it costs 100 obsidian. Yeah, is that the, the rest is the same? So I think we're going to build that in this episode. How long is this episode? Oops, it looks like this video is going on just a little bit too long. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, have you guys heard of the mod Hyper's Extras? I'm thinking about adding that too. Uh, but I've been having an absolute blast recently and I hope you are too. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.